All right, so we're going to start with the scientific method, and you put your name on your paper. So what we want to talk about, what is the scientific method? Um, it's a process that's used to find answers to questions about the world around us. So we are doing this science experiment, right? And so we are using the scientific method. And so there's um, kind of, there's more than one scientific method. Um, there are several versions of the scientific method, method in fact. Um, some versions have more steps than others. Um, others may um, only have a few, but they all begin with one essential thing, identification of a problem or a question. And that's how you base your um, hypothesis, your observations, and provide an organized method for conducting and collecting and analyzing the experiment. Okay, so what is an hypothesis? Because most of you guys should be doing that already, right? That should have been in your packet. So the hypothesis is an educated guess based on observations and your knowledge of the topic. So let's say, for example, I want to do a hypothesis. If I put too many chocolate chips in my chocolate chip cookies, they'll come out flat because there's no dough. So that's my hypothesis. Now, I have to go about proving that. So I would make a control batch of cookies with the regular number of chocolate chips, and then I would make one batch with fewer and one batch with more. And then I could determine what um, I'm doing, what needs to be done. Um, so, and you, what is data? You know what data is? No. Okay, data is the um, information gathered from your experiment. So, when I gather data, I gather data on you guys' schoolwork, on things that you guys are doing. For me, to do data on my cookie experiment, I would, you know, bake the cookies and then I would measure the cookies, how, how high they were, how flat they were, how far they spread out, you know, and that would be my data. And then I could determine what is the best, you know, so my question was sort of, what is the best baked cookie? Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is there's this nice little um, packet, nice little, do you see the little, um, Questions right there. Okay, you need to, we're going to fill those out. But I'm going to, um, so identifying the problem. So that's the first thing we have to do. Hold on a second. So the first thing we have to do is identify the problem. So if I'm not mistaken, that might be what you fill in right there. Identify the problem. So go ahead and write that down in that top box right there identify the problem. That's what you want to know or explain. You use the observations you've made to write the question and that addresses the problem or topic you have chosen to investigate. So you write down, identify the problem. So Just do your best. So all you're filling in right now is that right there. Identify the problem. <laughs> so what do you think the next step is going to be in your experiment? After you've identified the problem, what should you do next? I'll give you a hint. What is that? Hypothesis. So you need to form a hypothesis. So that's your next block, is forming the hypothesis. So that's, that's what you think will happen. You predict the answer to your question or the outcome for your experiment. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create the experiment. And this is how you will test your hypothesis, um, develop your procedure, for a reliable experiment and address safety rules. Then you perform the experiment. 
Um, so this is the following the steps. Um, to perform your experiment, your procedure, you record your data and observations. Finally, you analyze the data. So it was the data reliable. Does your data and observations from the experiment support your hypothesis? If they support your hypothesis, then you communicate your results. Um, if they don't, is your data inaccurate or your experiment flawed? If the answer is no, you, then you still communicate. But if the answer is yes, you need to modify your experiment and go back and reperform your experiment. All right? You have any questions? Nope. Okay, good. Then we are done.